Hello, and thank you for downloading Nacho's Beacon Communities Program podcast series. The Beacon Communities Program is a grant program for communities to build and strengthen their health information technology infrastructure and exchange capabilities. These communities will demonstrate the vision of a future where hospitals, clinicians, and patients are meaningful users of health IT, and together the community achieves measurable improvements in healthcare quality, safety, efficiency, and population health. Today I'm joined by Anjum Kursheed from Crescent City Beacon Community. Dr. Kursheed oversees a wide uh, range of community health initiatives including quality improvement of primary care and behavioral health services within community health clinics, comprehensive wellness and clinical services in school-based health centers, and the Crescent City Beacon Community Program, a federally funded pilot program focused on improved management of chronic diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease through the use of information technology and electronic medical records. Dr. Kershid also works closely with the Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals to usher in the federally issued Medicaid waiver for the greater New Orleans area. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So what do Beacons know about their local health departments and their activities? Um, so the um, Crescent City Beacon, um, the, pri the primary agency that received uh, the funding on behalf of the community is the Louisiana Public Health Institute. And the Institute has a long uh, history of working closely with uh, the Department of Health at the state level and also with local health departments. Uh, the, uh, both the state and the local health departments are currently represented on the governance board of uh, Beacon com uh, Community Program and are uh, involved in the planning, the strategic planning and operationalization of some of the interventions uh, within the Beacon Community Program. And what do Beacon see as their current role in working with the local health departments? Uh, the Beacon community has um, a two-fold relationship with uh, local health departments. One is uh, by doing um, and in investing into health information technology infrastructure that allows for exchange of um, clinical information across the community, we are providing some of the foundational work that allows uh, health departments to uh, be more specific in terms of their planning, evaluation, and monitoring of various programs and initiatives, and also in understanding the healthcare environment uh, in which they operate. The second uh, aspect of, uh, of Beacon programs is really looking at innovative ways of uh, using in health information technology to uh, involve patients in the healthcare system. And uh, an example of that is uh, a program that uh, the Crescent City Beacon is um, developing that will be launched uh, in the fall of 2011, uh, which relates to using mobile health technology for uh, diabetic patients in terms of uh, helping the general population uh, become aware of their risk and also uh, linking them with uh, appropriate resources, uh, both educational and uh, clinical, uh, in their uh, neighborhoods and communities. What seems to be working for them in their role with local health departments and what seems to not be working for them in their role with local health departments? So one thing that has uh, been really helpful is uh, that the Beacon program uh, focuses on quality improvement uh, for chronic disease in, uh, in the Crescent City uh, area. And uh, we look at uh, how health information technology and innovative ways of using health information technology can help improve uh, outcomes at the population health level. Most local health departments are faced with the same challenge. Uh, they are being challenged now uh, on using ways or uh, using technology more effectively to reach to patients and the public, to help in educating them, to help in changing behaviors, and helping informing uh, policies uh, that will um, uh, affect population outcomes. And so that's a, there is a lot of synergy in the work that is being done by Beacon communities and the work that most local health departments are being asked uh, from their stakeholders and expected to deliver on. Um, what, has not, what has been a challenge, I think, in working with uh, health departments uh, generally is the fact that uh, most health departments are going through uh, uh, budgetary uh, constraints. They are also going through uh, some workforce reorganization and reduction, uh, which is an environment in which uh, it becomes challenging to think of uh, uh, more innovative ways of using uh, other, other methods of delivering care. But in a way, I think that is also uh, forcing uh, the direction in which all of us have to move in public health. 
which is how can we harness information technology in more effective ways uh, to be more efficient in the way we deliver public health to the public. And what do Beacon see as their potential role with our local health departments? So um, uh, again, I think one of the key roles that uh, we foresee and we have been working with our local health departments is to identify uh, the kind of data that will help them in their programs uh, and help them in managing uh, the population health uh, in a more effective manner. Um, the other way, uh, the other way in which uh, we have been working closely with health departments is to then use Beacon communities as laboratories where we can test out innovative ways of uh, involving the public or reaching out to the public, educating the public, uh, and collecting uh, if data that informs uh, some of these actions. Dr. Kershey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this edition of Nature's Beacon Communities Program podcast series. To download more podcasts, please visit our website at www.nature.org.